Joining us now is the Mayor of North Tyne, Jamie Driscoll, uh, who sits on the North East Joint Transport Committee. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Matt. Thank you so much for, for, for getting up and, and, and being on the show this morning. So can you explain to me then how these new cheap tickets for the Metro will work? Yeah. Um, so if you have a pop card, which you can get as a pay-as-you-go, that's not a season ticket, then you will not pay more than £2 for a single journey. And however much you use it in a day, you won't pay more than £4. Um, so that is a discount if you come in on some of the longer journeys, perhaps if you're coming from the coast or Sunderland into Newcastle. Right, that's OK. From um, the start of January through to the end of March. OK, so, so you're deciding on, on this... Uh, today, but then there's, there's also a reduced price for people who use buses during January and March next year too, is there? Is that, is that going to work the same? That's right. So what happens, so we don't have transport devolved to the North East yet. I'm in negotiations with government about that. But my colleagues in Manchester, West Yorkshire, um, Merseyside, they put in a £2 cap on bus fares, and the government was agreed to do that elsewhere, so we've got additional money out of government to do that. That's going to run again, same period, start of January, at the end of March, with a limit of £2 cap on a bus. Now, that makes a big difference if you're going from somewhere, for example, through southeast Northumberland into Tyneside, which a lot of young people for work and for college, um, it, it's a, you, know, you add that up over the course of a week, and that's actually quite a lot of money. Um, but we have gone further, and um, we've yet to do the, the sign-off, but I'm confident it's going to come through, and we'll have a young person's fare cap, and that's going to be £1 for everyone under 22. And that's all the way up from Berwick, all the way down to Baycliffe or Bishop Auckland. So the whole northeast transport area. So that's going to be a big deal. We're also going to see the metro flow will be completed. So uh, the, the line from South Shields through the Palau and Gateshead, um, that's going to have fewer delays. It'll be faster because we're going to twin track it. <laughs> that's a, a long-term project that we finally got done. Um, and the new metro trains are going to be the first ones coming on the early part of next year, and they'll be phased in throughout next year. So passengers are going to see a much better, much cheaper transport system in the North East. And I would like okay. government to step up and give us the money to do everything we need. Uh, and I'm on that as well, but uh, <laughs> that's okay. a bit of arguing. And so, so let me just get this right. So the £1 cap for everyone under 22, you say, though, or 21? Under 22, so 21 and up. 22. And that, so that's so if someone wanted to travel, travel from Berwick to Newcastle, it wouldn't cost them more than a quid? That's right. All right. OK, I mean, that is excellent, because, I mean, I used to have a girlfriend. I, I lived in Stannington, and I used to have a girlfriend in Widrington. It used to cost me a fortune to get to see her. And we, we split up in the end, Jamie, so this could have potentially saved well, our relationship back in the day. We're doing what we can to preserve young love. Yeah, well, excellent. <laughs> Listen, you, you mentioned Manchester there, your areas like Manchester who've already done this. So, Jamie, I've got to ask why it's taken us, us so long to, to do this ourselves and why, I mean, it's not even signed off yet. That's right. I mean, I'm confident it will be signed off today. So I sit on the Transport for the North Committee, which covers the whole of the north of England, along with my fellow mayors and some council leaders. Um, and then we have different levels of governance down from that. But in the North East... Because we didn't have a unified devolution deal, we don't actually have the same level of control over our transport system. So I'm mayor for the north of Tyne, so that's from Tynemouth over to Holt Whistle, all the way up to Berwick, where I'm currently not mayor of Gateshead, Sunderland, South Tyneside, or County Durham. So we have a much more complicated system, and government give us less powers as a result. So I negotiated with government a while ago that they would give us extra funding and extra powers. And we've all come together. Everybody's been involved. All the council leaders are working on this. I had a meeting with, uh, we had a meeting with Michael Gove just earlier in the week to try and progress this so that we do get the powers. There's, there's additional funding negotiated, um, and I'm confident that it will get signed off. Then we will have much more control. But what we really need to do, Matt, is actually get the entire system more sustainable, and that's just more people using it, getting out of their cars. That little few extra steps a day is good for people's health, it's good for the climate, it actually reduces congestion on the roads, and if we can make it cheaper and better for people to do that, that's the long-term plan. Yeah, OK. Uh, and obviously, you know, we want to make it cheaper in the long term. Currently, it's, you're talking about it just being January to March next year, so three months. Uh, if you are wanting to encourage more people to use public transport, surely the hope is that we'll extend it for beyond that, yes? That would absolutely be the hope. Now, that £1 young person's spare um, cap, that actually is going to run for two years. And that will take us to after the point that we should have transport devolved. 
and then we will have more control over our own uh, metro, over our own integrated transport system that includes everything, which is, I think, these things work much better if they're treated as an entire system. And some of that would mean bringing the buses much more into public control. Right. OK. And what, so when will we know the decision on this, Jamie? I know it's, it's today that it's supposedly finding out. I mean, how likely is it to happen and when will we know? Um, well, I think it's very likely. Um, the decision will be made. There's always technicalities, which I don't get into all the details, but call back periods um, and you've got to wait for um, cooling off and challenges and things like that. That's standard democratic process. Um, but I think I'm pretty sure it is going to happen. OK, curse those technicalities, Jamie, for, for slowing <laughs> us down. But hopefully... Democracy and legality, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's just Everybody get wants to see that from government. <laughs> let's get rid of the technicalities and let's get it done. <laughs> Jamie, hopefully hopefully uh, that it comes off today and uh, obviously we'll, we'll be following it here on BBC Radio Newcastle. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Cheers, Matt. Bye-bye.